This is Tanks Vlog, July 30th, 2018. Wrapping up today in sports. Sunday was a day to honor some of baseball's greats. As six new members joined the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. I remember when I went to the Hall of Fame ceremonies two years ago when Mike Piazza and Ken Griffey Jr. were inducted. It was a hot day, but well worth the trip. You got to at least get up to Cooperstown once during induction weekend. I mean, it's it's not a good day to visit the Hall of Fame. Uh, uh, not a good weekend to visit the Hall of Fame. It's too crowded to really get the full Hall of Fame experience. But that Saturday night, the parade before the, uh, the uh, ceremonies, is a big highlight. And you really need to go at least once. This year, it was Vladimir Guerrero, Trevor Hoffman, Met Killer Chipper Jones, Jack Morris, Alan Trammell, and Jim Tomey joining the Hall of Fame. I think five of these six are definitely deserving. Alan Trammell, I still don't know about that one. How you know? How does Alan Trammell get in the Hall of Fame without Lou Whitaker? To me, you either put both in the Hall of Fame or you put none in the Hall of Fame. And if Lou Whitaker gets in a few years of a veterans committee, good for him. And uh, that will make that more uh, make uh, a better case for Trammell, if you ask me. Uh -oh. All right, let's see uh, Mets. And what could be Zach Wheeler's last start for the Mets? A third straight great outing. And uh, like the like Jacob DeGrom on Saturday, the Mets did nothing to support him. So Zach Wheeler had to do it himself, getting the game's only RBI with a double. Now, with the trade deadline on Tuesday, the question is, was that his last start with the Mets? I mean, with the way the Mets have been, uh, the Mets... Have been making these trades. It's trash and cash. That's all they get. Trash and cash. I tell you, if they trade Zach Wheeler, they better get some A-plus prospects. Because right now, he looks like the Zach Wheeler we've all expected. We've been waiting for. And they, look, and they got a year and a half of him left. And if you're going to really be serious about rebuilding, you get good prospects, not friends. Francisco killing me. Or these two duds they got from the A's for Jerry Familia. You know, the Mets have made a lot of trades at the deadline the last two years. Not one, not one player has been worth a damn. I mean, this guy they got from the Phillies for Cabrera killing me. He's got a 4-7 and seven record and an ERA over 4 in double A. You think he's going to be any good? You think he has a chance to be better than Jacob Rehm? <sighs> Dilson Bautista? I'm tired of trash and cash. That's why they can't trade Jacob DeGrom. You know, maybe it might be the right thing down the road to trade Jacob DeGrom. But they can't do it until they get a good general manager with a sense of the future and a game plan, not Mo Lowry and Carly going, Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yankees got uh, a couple big hits from Aaron Hicks in uh, Jay Happ's debut as they beat the Kansas City Royals 6-3. to Meanwhile, in Boston, Nathan Nivaldi made his Boston debut throwing seven scoreless innings as the Red Sox remained rolling, beating the Minnesota Twins, 3 to nothing. Elsewhere in the American League East, Chris Davis got two home runs as the Orioles beat 
the day beat the Tampa Bay Rays in front of Friends and Family Day at Camden Yards, as only friends and family were present. It was the uh, Indians clobbering the Tigers. The Reds blanked the Phillies 4 to nothing. The Marlins blanked the Nationals 5 to nothing. Nationals are now 52 and 53. They just can't get out of their own way. Sean Newcomb almost made history on Sunday. Was one strike away from a no hitter before Chris Taylor singled through the hole at short. Uh, he was left taken out of the game as the Dodgers scored a run. And the final score of that game was 4-1 to one in favor of Atlanta. It was the Blue Jays over the White Sox 7-4. Jerks and Profar got kicked in the fate, got kicked in the head. Ain't that a kick in the head? But the Rangers beat the Astros again 4-3. to three. The Rockies completed a three-game sweep of the A's with a 3-2 win. It was the Mariners 8-3. To five winners over the Angels. The Giants beat the Brewers eight to five. Diamondbacks with a big shot from uh, Paul Goldschmidt beat the Padres five to four. And in the night game, the Cubs beat the Cardinals five two. Today's three stars are Sean Newcomb with his flirtation with history. Luis Castillo, who uh, blanked the Phillies, striking out nine and in seven innings for the Reds. And Chris Davis, who has been terrible all season for the Orioles, but hit two home runs, four RBI with three runs scored in the Orioles' win over the Rays. Today's birthday shout-out goes to... Long-time Golden State Warriors star... Who returned to his alma mater, hoping to turn things around? Chris Mullen, the current coach for St. John's. So far, it's not been going too good out there in uh, Queens. As uh, the Red Storm just continued to just live in the land of irrelevance. And we take a look back to 1966, when England, in front of the home fans at Wembley Stadium won the World Cup. It was Jeff Hurst, the big hero, as he scored two goals in extra time to complete a hat-trick, the only hat-trick in the, ever, that's ever been happened in the final of the World Cup. As England won, beat West Germany 4-2. So check out the story at Barstool Sports and at Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.